Um, well, I feel like a, I, I enjoy playing more utility slash defensive type builds personally. So I'm thinking I'm going to go with a, um, a dedicated kineticist um, focusing on earth as its element. Um, I think I'm going to dual, dual class that with, uh, with a sparkling targe magus. Um, with uh, the the Bastion free archetype, and um, you can use a lot of different, uh, almost any ancestry will work with this. But uh, I think my favorite would be probably Hobgoblin, the sheer amount of defensive ancestry feats that they get. Like just just uh, at level one, if you choose the um, Steel Skin subtype, then you you get a lower DC on flat checks to resolve um, persistent damage, which is absolutely amazing for a tank, uh, especially. Um, you you will suffer a bit in the HP department uh, due to uh, both classes being uh, eight HP classes and your ancestor being eight HP. However, you'll more than make up for that with your Constitution investment. Um, the reason I, I think these go so well together is because uh, Megas gives you access to a little bit of magic uh, for utility spells, such as uh, defensive spells like uh, well, shield, of course, but you really won't need shield, and we'll get into that a little bit later. Um, but things like mirror image, uh, making more copies of yourself on the battlefield to make it harder to hit you, um, and different types of elemental resistance spells um, to just make yourself, uh, give yourself uh, effective health on top of your HP. Um, the, the big benefit, though, is the sheer amount of uh, AC boosting effects that you can get your hands on. Um, the fact that you can uh, use Sparkling Targe's uh, Conflux spell, Thunderous, not, sorry, that's the wrong, con wrong Conflux, uh, <laughs> Dimensional Assault. That's also the wrong one. Sorry, <laughs> I thought I had this pulled up. Um, Shielding Strike will let you um, make a strike and raise a shield at the same time, um, which is excellent action economy. Uh, but also lets you recharge Spell Strike and things like that. Um, the other benefit is... I don't know where I'm going with that, actually. Uh, Back, but let's go back to kineticist for a minute. Now, again, I'm getting a little off topic. Um, specifically looking at uh, lower level feats, you know, the, the first level kineticist gets a gets a class feed. You're probably going to, for this one, you're going to go um, hmm. Man, suppose you go elemental weapon. Um, flexible blast could also be useful. Uh, considering the earth element gets um where's it at? I'm just, I cannot find it. Oh there it is. <laughs> uh the earth element only gets earth and forceful as traits for melee. Um being able to apply other um other traits to that. Uh, mm -hmm. Such as finesse, it means you can you can lean into more of a dex oriented uh, build. Uh, since you're only going to be able to get up to medium armor, you're going to want some dex investment uh, at the very least. So if you go a bit more into dex, you can give your earth aspected attacks uh, the the finesse trait, letting you use. Um, Dexterity, dexterity instead of strength, and you you get to keep the uh, the forceful effect, uh, which could potentially come in handy. Though with this build, you really won't be attacking all that much. Um, as far as uh, your elemental feats, um, your bread and butter is going to be stone shield. Uh, you raise a floating shield of stone orbiting around you, protecting you from harm, and imbuing you with great resiliency. Um, you raise a shield, 
getting a plus two circumstance bonus to AC until the start of your next turn. Um, while the shield is raised, you also get a plus two circumstance bonus to fortitude saving throws and fortitude DCs, um, which is absolutely insane. Yeah, with the uh, greater juggernaut and everything else that they already have, and Khan being your your big boy stat, uh, this, yes. that's going to be insane. <laughs> now, notably, um, Stone Shield cannot be used with Shielding Strike, uh, because Stone Shield is the action in which you raise a shield, and Shielding Strike specifically says... No. I'm wrong. <laughs> I just reread it. Um, so, Sparkling Targe uh, specifically says, um, uh, no, that's something else. <laughs> I'm wrong again. You're good. Um. Um, uh, so, you cannot use Stone Shield at, uh, in, at, in place of raising a shield for Shielding Strike. Um, however, um, Stone Shield does gain. And increase the hardness while you're in Arcane Cascade for Sparkling Targe. Mm -hmm. um, because it says uh, these benefits apply whether you're using an actual shield, uh, the shield spell, or something else that works like a shield, such as a raised tome, if you have the raised the tome feed. Right, uh, and that, that something else that works like a shield is going to include Stone Shield. Yeah, and Stone Shield's base hardness is 6, um, but with the, the bonus from Arcane Cascade, which is one, two, or three, depending on your your level of weapon specialization. Um, you get an additional three, and then the hardness goes up by three every other level after first level as well, eventually leading you to a cap of uh, 36 hardness on a, uh, on a shield that takes you nothing to raise yeah and, um, and cost you nothing if you break it yes um, you just you have you just all you have to do is gather uh gather your your your, your element again yeah that's and, gonna be huge yeah, yeah exactly um well then they have some nice other stuff in earth for uh defense like spike like we were looking earlier spike skin um that's gonna lean into this where you just pick up some you know resistance to damage and if they hit you there's a little two damage you know deterrent um, a little reflection there mm -hmm. uh, and then really if you nice. and then they like break the spikes each time you get hit by a bludgeoning piercing or slashing attack it decreases the duration of the 10 minutes by a minute so it's like mm -hmm. busting your spikes off I, I, I love that <laughs> yeah um and things like uh rebirth and living stone just a huge amount of temporary HP uh, for two actions, and it makes you immune to critical hits and precision damage. Uh, and also, you cannot be pushed. It's 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 kind of like pushed, pulled, or tripped yeah. uh, while standing on earth, earth or stone. Um, and it also increases the damage die of your D10. Just it's just it's it's out of absolutely insane. Yeah, and then and then at level twenty, it jumps up to D12. And with yeah. that with that taking the the bonuses from your hand wraps again just the amount of damage that your colonel blaster will put out is gonna be silly it's gonna be real silly and this is a tank build essentially that you're yes. talking about that's just gonna be yeah. able to hand out fat slaps the, the other the other reason this also like works really well as a tank build is because of the uh because of earth's kinetic aura uh dust storm um okay. you create a dust storm around yourself uh, that extends, I think it's 10 feet by default, um, that makes it so that any creatures that aren't adjacent to each other um, have to make a flat check in order to target someone um, for, from concealment. So like, sure the concealed uh, flat check is only a DC 5, but that's a that's a 25% chance that they're just not going to hit. I'm not even going to be able to attack you, which is absolutely insane. Um, now, this is also kind of a double-edged sword because it also works against you and your allies as well. Um, but there's a class feat at eighth level that lets you ignore, uh, let your let your allies ignore the, the drawbacks of, of your uh, your auras. So, at, starting at eighth level, your allies are no longer um, 
no longer have to make those concealed checks um, when targeting a creature that's not adjacent to them. See, and then and I, I want to jump in on this as well um, as we sort of wind to this build down. And so we use dual class and free archetype both uh, together. It creates incredibly like broad and diverse characters. Uh, I think a cool uh, free archetype to, to add to this would actually be Viking because uh, it has you could carry an actual shield. You would get a, If they busted your stone shield you would have a free action to draw your real, you know, your physical shield. Um, and it has some other cool interactions um, where if you did go, say, the elemental weapon route or something like that, um, one of the Viking feats lets you, for two actions, you can throw a weapon, uh, move, and draw a weapon. And so you could throw, say, like a, you know, an elemental spear and then run up and draw, you know, a physical weapon. Um, and then you, you still have an action, you could you know, gather up your, your element and, uh, you know, stone shield or whatever. There's a lot of cool things that you could do, but like, yeah, with that archetype. I, I don't, I don't want to ramble. I know I've been rambling, but, uh, <laughs> uh, uh, there's a couple more things I do want to mention, uh, some honorable mentions. Um, for the mega side of things, you, you're definitely going to want to take, uh, arcane fists. At, um, if you, if you go yeah. human, human, you can take it at first level. Um, otherwise, that, that'll probably be your second level feat. And then immediately at fourth level, you do want to take Expanded Spell Strike. Yeah. Um, because the uh, the fourth level Sparkling Targe class feat uh, doesn't really help you all that much uh, for this particular build. Um, but Expansive Spell Strike is infinitely useful. Um, additionally, Viking is I, I, Viking is a very good choice for, um, for, an, for a free archetype. Uh, but you also want to consider maybe grabbing some stuff in Bastion as well mm -hmm. um, because it lets you, you you can use your stone shield um, to shield block on a reflexive uh, thing so like any any spell effect or anything that would that would make you cause you to make a reflex saving throw um, that would deal damage to you uh, you can use your stone shield to also uh, shield block those types of effects rather than just uh, just attack rules. Um, additionally, you could also, if you want to go more of a like help your ally kind of build, uh, you could also take something that lets you interpose your stone shield for an ally instead of yourself. Uh, just some, some neat little interactions like that. There's a lot of really useful uh, shield block stuff in Bastion. 